Okay, this is a video on writing equations of lines that are parallel and lines that are perpendicular to a line that we currently have. Uh, a couple of vocabulary things in addition to parallel and perpendicular lines, uh, equations of those lines, would be this idea of a, an equation in standard form. Okay, so let's talk about that real quick. An equation in standard form is actually what's right here below the word standard form. It's where we have both our X and our Y value, uh, variables on the same side and the coefficients are whole numbers. So when we write the equation, we're, we're going to start in slope intercept form that Y equals MX plus B and then we're going to get the X and the Y on the same side and make sure that our coefficients aren't fractions. So I'll walk you through that process, but that's what they're talking about there with standard form. All right. So that's just one more thing to add to your already um, already existing forms for uh, linear equations. We've got slope intercept form y equals mx plus b and point slope form y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. All right, so here we go. So we want to write an equation in standard form of a line that passes through the point negative 8, negative 4, and is parallel to the graph of that equation. Okay, keep in mind, for lines to be parallel, they need to have the same slope. So it's incredibly important that your first step is to figure out what the slope of our existing equation is. So x plus 2y equals 4 is actually in standard form right now. So I'm going to need to solve for y get this thing into slope intercept form so I actually can see what the slope is. That means that I can do this algebraically without actually having to graph it. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides and I've got 2y is equal to negative x plus 4. Again, I'm putting it into that slope intercept form. And then I'm just going to divide everything by 2 and I get that y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 2. So what I've just done, all that work so that I could see what the slope of this first equation is. So the slope of that line is negative one half. So the slope of a line parallel to that would have to have the exact same slope. So the slope of my line that I'm going to use over here with this point that they gave me is going to have to be the exact same thing. So the slope of the new line is going to be the exact same thing in, in, in order to make sure that we are parallel. And then I'm going to go through this point, negative 8, negative 4, keeping in mind that this is like my x1 and my y1. So when I have a point and a slope, I can use my point-slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. All right, so that means that I'm going to go with y minus, and then my y1 will be negative 4. My slope, which I figured out, has to be negative one-half to maintain that parallel relationship. And then x minus x1, which is negative 8. So now I just simplify, and I get y plus 4 equals negative one-half, and then x plus 8. All right. Now one more step, uh, or actually two more steps here to get it into slope intercept form and then we'll move everything over for standard form. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute this negative one half and I'm going to have negative one half x and then negative one half times eight is negative four. One more step, subtract four from both sides and I've got y is equal to negative one half x minus eight. So now in order to get into standard form, I'm going to need to get the x's and the y's on the same side. So I'll add the one half x to both sides. And that gets the x's and y's on the same side. But then I can't have any fraction coefficients. So what do I need to do to get rid of that fraction? Well, I just multiply by whatever the denominator is. But if I multiply that by 2, I have to actually multiply everything by that same thing. So I'm multiplying everything by 2. So that's going to give me 2 times a half is just 1, or x, plus 2y equals negative 16. 
and this would be the equation of the line in standard form. <coughs> Excuse me. So, there we go. That's the equation of a line in standard form that's parallel to what I started with. Okay? So, we could do another example with that right here. Um, just give me a second and we'll clean out and then we'll start another example. Okay, next example with writing a line parallel. Also in standard form again, we've got to figure out what the slope of this line is first. So I'm going to go ahead and put it into slope intercept form. I'm going to start off by subtracting 3x from both sides. And I've got 6y is equal to negative 3x plus 10. And now I'm going to divide everything by 6 in order to get y by itself. y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 5 thirds if I simplify. And I know that you see those fractions, you're like, oh man, that's difficult. But really what I'm focused on is the slope. It's all about the slope because it's the slope of the lines that determine if they're going to be parallel or not. So again, to make sure that these things stay parallel, I've got to use the exact same slope. So the slope of my new line is also going to be negative one half, but then I've got this line, uh, this point rather, of negative four two that's on the new line, and that'll be like my x one and my y one. So when I use my slope and my point, I can use point slope form. So that's going to be y minus y one, which is two, equals m negative one half times x minus x one, which is negative four. Okay. So y minus 2 equals negative 1 half x plus 4. And now I'm going to just go ahead and simplify by distributing. So y minus 2 is equal to negative 1 half x. And then um, negative 1 half times 4 is negative 2. Add 2 to both sides. And that's going to leave me with y equals negative 1 half x and then my negative 2 and my positive 2 actually cancel out. So then, interesting enough, it's like I have a plus 0 back here as a placeholder, which is totally okay. I don't want anybody to freak out about that. Add the 1 half x to both sides so I get all my x's and y's on the same side. And that's going to give me 1 half x plus y equals 0. And... Like the previous example, we're going to make sure we get rid of that fraction by multiplying by the denominator. And if I multiply that by the denominator, I have to multiply everything by the denominator. So 2 times a half is just 1, so I could just leave that as x plus 2y equals 0 times 2 is 0. And that's the equation of my line in standard form. And that line is indeed parallel to the line that I started with. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to do an example with writing the equation of a line perpendicular. Remember that uh, lines that are perpendicular, their slopes are opposite reciprocals. So um, when we're talking about the slope of a line being opposite reciprocal, you've got to make sure that you're switching the signs and then you switch the numerator and denominator. All right, so let's first figure out what the slope of this line that they gave us because we want to write an equation in standard form of the line that passes through this point right here and it's perpendicular to this equation or that is perpendicular to the line that goes with that equation all right so let's figure out what that slope is all right real quick i'm just going to subtract x from both sides and that's going to give me negative 2y is equal to negative x plus 4. Now I'm going to divide everything by negative 2. And I got y is equal to 1 half x minus 2. So again, I know you see other numbers here, but really your focus is on the slope. So the slope of the old line is 1 half, positive 1 half. Well, the slope of the line perpendicular and that upside down t is my perpendicular symbol is going to have to be the opposite reciprocal. So positive to negative, there's the opposite part. And then reciprocal is where you flip the fraction, where you reverse the, or you switch the numerator and denominator. So that's going to be negative 2 over 1. That's what my new slope is going to be. 
And now I'm going to go through this point, negative 8, negative 4. Sorry, negative 8, negative 4. And that'll be my x1 and my y1. So let's write that equation now using point-slope form. y minus negative 4 equals negative 2 times x minus negative 8. All right, so simplifying here, y plus 4 is equal to negative 2 times x plus 8. And now I'll just go ahead and simplify. y plus 4 is equal to negative 2x. And negative 2 times 8 is negative 16. Um, and remember, my goal here is to get into standard form. So I'm going to get y by itself, and then I'm going to move the x over to the left. So y is equal to negative 2x minus 20. Last step, add 2x to both sides. And the great news here is that we don't have any fractions. So we will be in standard form as soon as we move that x. And I've got 2x plus y is equal to negative 20. And that's how I'm going to write an equation um, in standard form that's perpendicular. Again, it was all about the slope. So we figured out the old slope. And then we figured out the new slope by finding the opposite reciprocal. Super important there for you. So whenever you want to do more examples here, the only difference between the parallel and the perpendicular process of writing these equations is all about the slopes. So remember, slopes of parallel lines are the same. The slopes of perpendicular lines are opposite reciprocals.